Happy Canada Day. Thank you so much for joining us for the last Coast to Coast virtual recital, generously sponsored by Grace and Arnold Rumbold. Tonight, we will be in two different provinces. We begin in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and then fly over to beautiful Nova Scotia. The majority of the concert tonight will be musical theatre repertoire with just a few Canadian songs. I'm so pleased that four of our artists wanted so much to be part of this series and I look forward to you celebrating with them alongside of two of our faculty members, Donna Fletcher and Rob Harriet. So we're heading over to Winnipeg and Donna and Rob will welcome us to the team of wonderful artists and the beautiful home of Colleen to begin our concert tonight. And I will see you at the end to begin our last virtual reception. Hi everyone, and welcome to the ninth recital in Opera Nuova's Cross Canada Rumble Recital Series. Today we are in Winnipeg at the lovely home of Colleen Ferlan. Colleen, come and join us. Colleen is one of Winnipeg's young stars and welcomes us into our home today, along with uh, my good colleague here, Donna Fletcher. Uh, we are joining Elliot Lazar and Indra Egan for today's concert. We thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Um, the exciting thing about Nuova is that Kim is always doing innovative things. She's always programming new material. She's always inviting new and diverse artists in. And the thing that made me excited when I was asked joyfully to join the faculty was that Kim is a forward-thinking artist and creator and producer and realized the value for all her students to do work in musical theater. Being a crossover artist now is not just a, a delight, but a necessity. And so the fact that Kim introduced with Street Scene, um, the first musical into the Nuova family, I was very excited when she then followed with shows like Fiddler on the Roof, and Parade, and Carousel, and Oklahoma, Into the Woods, and then sadly, the show we're not getting this year, The Music Man. Um, one of my personal favorites is Light in the Piazza, and that was one that Kim scheduled again very early on. She's so smart in terms of knowing what is needed in the industry and what young artists need to be able to be successful. So we're thrilled to bring you this concert. Canada has a legacy of musical theatre, starting at the Charlottetown Festival with Alan Lund and shows like Anna Pink Gables and Johnny Belinda, and now shows like The Drowsy Chaperone, um, and of course the international breakout sensation, Come From Away. So we hope you enjoy this concert, and we're thrilled to throw it over to Indra and to Elliot. Have a great time. See you at the end. Did I just hear an alarm start ringing? Did I see sirens go flying past?
from the last five years. Um, when we were planning this recital, we thought it would be really great for us to put together a program of songs that we were really feeling deeply in this global moment we are having right now. Um, and I think I speak for a lot of the young artists maybe out there watching that we were on the track, right? So we spend so much of our time uh, looking for the next gig, the next thing that's gonna get us to where we wanna be. Uh, so now, with that in mind, uh, we move on to this next song. It's about what happened to all of us, which was putting it on the brakes and not knowing what was coming next, or when we would get a chance to share music again. <laughs>
Andra. It's uh, my absolute pleasure to be here playing this concert with uh, my friend Elliot. Um, I was so excited to do this recital for many reasons, but the big three I've got to say, first of all, um, working with Elliot, he is a dear, dear friend of mine, um, and we haven't lived in the same city for a while, so we keep in touch pretty well, but in-person musical collaboration is pretty rare, and it just warms my heart. And he's he's a pretty great guy. So <laughs> this is this has been so much fun to together. Um, the second, of course, being getting to share this music with you, as Elliot said. Um, we've got a lot of music left on Express as artists right now, and being able to, I just think this is a wonderful initiative that Kim is doing so that we can share this with all of you, and thank you Kim, thank you Rob and John for making this possible here in Winnipeg. Um, and the third, and I gotta say, one of the biggest things is I have not played an acoustic piano in three months. <laughs> So I can play this piano while everybody else sets up the lights and like this camera. <laughs> um, so yes, we'd love to continue uh, with the rest of our music. Uh, on that note, hmm, note, um, <laughs> we would like to perform a piece that we are relating to very much in this time of quarantine and social distancing, and we think you might. series and in being in a situation where it's live like this it is overwhelming there's no doubt about it but today what I'm overwhelmed with is the artistry that Elliot and Indra have brought to this concert um, I've known Elliot a long time I've watched him grow and he's he's arrived at a place that's just absolutely amazing so that makes me very happy in this concert today. And what I'm loving is watching Indra with her bare feet, celebrating the beautiful Winnipeg 
summer that we're having For sure. and playing with such musicality and such sensitivity and elevating musical theater, which is really the music of North America, uh, elevating it to the place of Chopin or, or uh, a beautiful um, uh, Bach uh, uh, fugue. It's, uh, it's really exciting and heartening to hear and it shows the future of musical theater in our country. Exactly. We're gonna throw it back to Elliot and Indra. Don't Get Around Much Anymore by Duke Ellington, the jazz great. Uh, these next two songs are by Jeff Blumenkrantz and John Bikino, and they are songs about what we are all missing right now, connection.
next song is a tune by Maury Yeston from the musical In the Beginning. It's called You're There Too. And I chose this one because I just recently discovered this song earlier this year. And I was blown away by what a beautiful reminder it is of um, humans and our basic codependence. That we really need one another. I think right now, especially, we are more aware than ever of our global community. And for those of you out there who are maybe estranged from the people that support you in your lives and keep you going, this goes out to you especially. chose this because it is by an artist that is both very special to us and was formative in our musical lives, uh, and because we feel the song right now, like everything else in the program. But before we sing it, I'd like everyone in this room, for real, but also everyone out there, whether you're in your living room or in your, on your porch, in your backyard, in your bedroom, take a moment and check in with where we are right now. I think even in quarantine, I have managed to sail through life without actually seeing how I was doing, checking in with this body that I inhabit. So if we could all just take a moment, close our eyes, feel whatever's under us, whether it be a sofa or the ground or a bed or a chair, take a deep breath, Thank you. 
shoe. I left my home for the caribou on the first exciting news. In New York City, I met a gent introduced himself to me. Says I, I come from Canada, so you can't come over me. Says I, I come from Canada, so you can't come over me.
Our next selection is from Stephen Sondheim's Sunday in the Park with George. Finishing the Hat follows George as he sits with his dog in his art studio after the one woman he loves has just left. Garden, which I was a part of this past year at Opera Nuova, 
Uh, the song we will be doing is A Bit of Earth, which is sung by Archibald Craven. Now, this is not the character that I played. I played the role of Dickon, but I fell in love with all of the songs that Archie sang. And at this point, Archie has lost his wife, he has been a cripple for his entire life, and at this point, he has just discovered that all his niece wants in the entire world is a bit of earth to plant a garden. She'll plant some seeds. The seeds will grow. The flowers bloom, but is their bounty what she needs? How can she chance to love a little bit of earth? Does she not know? Our next selection is another one by Stephen Sondheim. Traditionally sung by a woman in Follies, Losing My Mind is about loving someone who won't love you back.
Jimmy realizes that the person that he's trying to be isn't the person he really is, and that he might actually have feelings for someone. <clears throat> all the places I would like to show you, although I hardly know you, I have a funny feeling we'd make a Famous sights I wanna see you seeing the nights of you and me in me you e. wait a minute just a minute no 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 I'm a Joe with just one aim every night to date a different dame we'll call each one of them the same bad name created by four Canadian emerging artists who share what they have to say with such passion. Thank you, Indra, Elliot, Brent, and Mary for making this evening possible. And thank you to all of our artists who have come out and created such incredible performances from BC to Nova Scotia. It's been a delight to share with you this virtual recital series, and we look forward to creating more programs like this throughout the year as we anticipate the exciting beginning of our 2021 festival where we will once again be live in the various venues in Edmonton, Alberta. We hope that you will join us throughout the year, keep watching these artists as they grow, and celebrate Canadian talent. <laughs>